so today's video is going to be a haul. During spring break, I was like in the mood for shopping, but like I didn't really feel like going to the mall. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do online shopping. So I did a little bit of damage, and this time I think I might have more makeup than I do clothing items. You know what? I'm gonna start with the makeup because a lot of you guys are probably here to see the makeup. So, I'm really excited. The first one is the setting spray, and this is the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. It says, locks in makeup, long lasting finish. I love this. I have it on, like I sprayed it on me today. It makes my makeup last so much longer. Like, my face makeup does not stay on. Like, I don't know what its problem is. It just like leaves. It like just runs from me, and I'm like, no, come back. So this has been helping so much. It's like $12, which I know is kind of expensive, but makes the powdery finish go away. And I just am obsessed with this. And the spray is so fine, it's just great. I also got the new Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick thing. This is in the shade 5 Nude Thrill. And this is kind of like a brownie nude. It has a lot of ready tones in it. I love this. This is like a moussey consistency compared to the rest of the liquid lipsticks I own or have seen on YouTube. When you put it on, it doesn't dry immediately, but it still looks like matte satiny, but then like as it wears, it dries matte. It is super comfortable on my lips. Like some liquid lipsticks make my lips feel like, but like I feel like they feel moisturized and like plump and they're like, at the same time they're matte so that's what I really like about this I feel like I should have brought in a wipe because I'm wearing a white shirt and if it gets on my white shirt no can't get on my white shirt and I literally <laughs> look what just happened I literally just smudged it and I don't know where it went I'll be back next I ordered some things off of Sephora I got these two things because I did have a gift card these two items were on sale I got this Sephora outrageous volume dramatic volume mascara I'm glad I got this in waterproof because it is like spring and summer and if I ever go in the pool and I still want to wear makeup this is good and I don't have any waterproof mascaras the wand looks like this it has a little spiky ball at the top kind of like benefit and it's the rubber bristle, I can never say that right. It's the rubber bristle wand. It's really nice, I like it a lot. I find that when I let mascaras dry out for like a week or two, they work better on my lashes, so that's what I've been doing. This is the Sephora Rouge Infusion, the neutrals in 15 rosebud. It's kind of like their liquid lip. It's really not as pigmented. As you can tell, it's not super pigmented. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. It was on sale, so it's not a big deal. From Ulta, I love this so much. I bought the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. Oh my god, I use this under my eyes all the time. I am obsessed. It just looks like that. It's under my eyes today. It covers up blemishes as well, like so good. The coverage is amazing. It blends out flawlessly. Like I cannot get over this concealer. It's so lightweight, but so full covered at the same time. This is like $20, which is so expensive, but it is definitely worth it. So I would recommend this concealer. Guess who jumped on the bandwagon for once? Like normally when people talk about brands, on YouTube, I don't always just go out and buy them because I'm sometimes I'm just not interested. Girl, when you're online shopping, you look up every store that everyone's been talking about, and then I was like, shit, I want to buy something from Morphe. It is in the sale section, so I don't know if they still have it. I don't know, but this is the Morphe G6 brush. This is just in their like gunmetal packaging, but I really needed a flat top foundation brush that was like small but compact. And this is exactly what I needed. Now I was going to do like a little first impressions of me using this, like do it on the side like I'm doing for the rest of the makeup, but I didn't want to show you a dirty brush. So I'll just let you know in the description bar if I liked it or not. If I feel this brush, I'm like, yeah, you're good quality. So I can't wait to try this. Girl, I did it. 
I did it. So I jumped on the bandwagon of getting ColourPop because I've been watching so many videos and people mention ColourPop and I'm just like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. The first thing that I got is the brow pencil. And I know this is new to ColourPop. I wanna try and use a brow pencil. I don't normally fill in my brows. If you watch my videos, you know I don't. But I was like, you know what? It's only like $5 and I was gonna get the next one. That's like $10, so I was like, this is perfect. This is in the shade Bangin' Brunette, which is such a cute name. And this is what the packaging looks like. It has a little spoolie on one end. As you can see, I tried it, and I actually really enjoy it. I don't normally fill in my brows, so, you know, I gotta, you know, step up my brow game, I guess. I gotta, like, try it more and stuff, but I like it so far. It's not too creamy where it, like, slides around, you're, like, messing up, but it's not too, like stiff where you can't draw it on your eyebrows. The next thing that I have here is one of their super shock eyeshadows and oh my god I hear so many people talk about these eyeshadows. I see so many people show them on YouTube and I'm like oh my god I want to try them. So I went for a more neutral shade. This is what the packaging looks like. You know you guys have seen this a billion times but this is in the shade I Spy. Oh, so gorgeous. This is like a brownish sort of orangey eyeshadow i don't know i love it it's more of like a matte shade so i use it in my crease i can't this is so amazing i don't even know how to explain to you this texture i i can't even when people people are so right like i didn't like oh so that's the shade it's kind of orangey this feels so buttery literal butter i'm obsessed i love it you guys are probably like whoa what's on your lips girl I heard Amanda Singh talk about this lip color. It looks gorgeous on her. So I'm like, only five bucks. I'm gonna get it. This is in the shade Beeper. You guys are seeing me try it on right now. I am in love. The applicator is so nice. It just is a doe foot. It's not patchy whatsoever. And it's one of the darkest matte liquid lipsticks I have. But it is so pretty. It pulls like this taupey brownish shade. I can't tell you how these last because I literally just put it on like 30 minutes ago. But I can tell you so far I'm in love. Then I did a big order off Forever 21 because for Christmas I think, yeah Christmas, I got a lot of gift cards from my family members to Forever 21. And I never spent them because I wanted to save it for spring and summer clothes. And I went on Forever 21 and I was like, yes, now I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you. So I want to say thank you to them because technically these are from you. It has like that ribbed material sort of thing and then has the crisscross in the front and it like ties up. It's super soft and comfy and I think it's just so cute for spring and summer. Then I have another rib top. This is more of a halter top and on the sides though, it ties up and it just shows a little skin. I love this sort of muted tan color. This is a halter top as well and it's a super pretty baby blue shade and I love the rib pattern as you can tell. And then the last thing I got is a bathing suit top. Now this isn't a large because I do have girls. It is going to be way too big for me around the band so my mom is going to have to like hem it but this part does fit so that's all that matters. That is it for this haul video. I have a lot of makeup and I normally have not that much makeup because makeup is damn expensive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!